following is the next WA presentation recap. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is not actually a match, this is just I'm going to recap what happened at the house show recently where Dante faced Ash Ketchum in order to go into the next round of the heavyweight championship. As you see Dante making his signature entrance here. But the different thing music like this time because of the house show do not have the same thing music. But they went on to face Ash, who showed up looking in the best shape it possible during this hiatus here. It was a nice, it was a nice back and forth action slugfest, with both men giving it their all, both men going back and forth, both men showing the other what the other could do. Ash had his moments to shine, and Ash had a bunch of advantages, but it was Dante who came in in the end in order to take the victory. Dante was just too good, too experienced, too strong to do it. While Ash had his moments, Dante overtook him to win a very convincing victory. And with that, Dante advances as he wins. And with that, Dante advances to face the winner of the main event tonight between King and an opponent not, and an opponent yet to be named. We will find out on it then. But Dante advances to face the winner of this. And Ryu Hayabusa in a triple threat match as well. So whoever wins this next match will go on to the final round for the heavyweight title and the three-way championship win. And the three-way championship win. Coming out first is King. As you can see, he has those ribs bended from being attacked in the back by whoever that guy was. It's, it's, if you haven't been watching it from you, there's been this guy with these like flaming freaking red eyes and he's been attacking everyone. He's been attacking everyone that's come near him in the back. King was his most recent victim. But it's amazing because because of him attacking King and putting and injuring him to where you see his teeth his, his teeth his ribs. It's because of that that the of us got the shot at Dante in the first place in what is probably a very, very great match, one of the greatest matches of XWA. So in a way, you gotta thank that guy, but at the same time, you'd be taking credit away from King to say he couldn't go on the same, if not even a greater match against Dante. He gets his chance at redemption tonight, as he is going to try to put his hand in for the heavyweight title race. And I tell you, a three-way title race between Dante, King, and Ryu Hayabusa, that has, I'm going to say it again, match of the year written all over. This crowd giving King as much respect as they can. King has decided to continue to dress up Dante without the mask. He does not want the extra abilities that come through. He says, if I'm going to be successful in my career, it's going to be because of me. And who, and who the heck is this? Who is this guy? Who is I never heard this before from anyone in XWA. Ooh, what an entrance. And it, it's that guy. It's the guy that attacked. Wait a minute. That's the guy I've been telling you about that's been attacking everyone in the This crowd is flabbergasted by the appearance of this guy. He's not even on the roster. What is he doing here? Well, XWA has a lot of guys not on the roster, so. I guess it's open game, but what business does he have in here? Is he throwing his hat literally into the World Heavyweight Championship race for that three-way match? And yet he's picked King, the guy he injured, to do it against. Yeah, that's really brave. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Alright, I got this from the guys in the back who apparently know more than I do. This guy, he wants to be known as Nightmare. Nightmare, that name sounds familiar like I know it from somewhere. But anyway, he must be a tough SOB with all those scars. I just wish he was a brave SOB and wouldn't take on someone that he injured in a backstage attack. To each its own, but it's hard to respect that. King. I know the kind of person King is. He is biting at the grip to get at this guy for ruining his opportunity. He is seething out here wanting this guy. Oh! Explosive entrance, I must say. This guy's eyes are out of this freaking world. King wants at him. 
And the guy's stalking him down. King throwing out the first punch and throwing him off the turnbuckle. Give it to him. Give this guy what he deserves. King is enraged and he is attacking with rage. Putting him in a camel clutch. Make this guy submit. Make this guy submit, King. He's putting him in the camel clutch and the guy breaks out of it. With some sort of power. King on the aggressive. The guy punches him. King says, uh-uh. That punch doesn't work on me. King trying to come back. And King is... King is leveled with a clothesline from that guy. Now King trying to come back, but the guy is attacking him. King's countering the shot. Going back against him. Now King missing the shot. And the guy punches him. And King remains standing. And King puts him up on his shoulders. Is King strong enough? No, he's not. And the guy reverses into a reverse DDT. This guy has some wrestling skill. He's not just all big. Looking, and now King goes back. And he misses the shot on King as King steps to the side. King with a drop to hold on him. This guy may be big and strong, but he seems more and more, he seems more like finesse than brute strength. Or he seems more about wrestling skill than brute strength, which is what I can't say a lot about a big man. But he still seems to be, he's taking it to King, getting any clothes Seems at points he wants to wrestle, at points he wants to just have power. King pushes him off again, and he rolls him with the DDT. I think King, along with this crowd, is a bit surprised here that this guy came up with wrestling moves and he spears King in the injured ribs. That is a bullseye, and King is trying to counter him, and he leaves him in the ribs again. And he counters King, counter King punches him, and down goes King. And now, he is stalking King. He is stalking King, telling him to get up. Don't do it, King. Don't get up. Don't get up, King. Don't get... And he spears King right out of his boots. King is down, but not out. And no, 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 not this again. Not this again. This is what he did to King last time, but it was on the concrete. Not again on the ribs, and down goes King. And he pins him. Is it over for King? Is it over for King this early? Dang it! Well, it it say it hurts my heart to say it, but this guy is going to advance over King into the next round into the heavyweight tournament. We are desperately out of the time. We don't even have time for an adrenaline rush. Somebody get this piece of crap out of the ring!